Well, hey guys, a little bit of a change in background here. We are in my kitchen and I'm putting my spatula down and I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys asked in the, the uh, challenge group. That is my free Facebook group. If you're not in it, then you're gonna to wanna to go join. You can find the link in the description below. But what I wanna talk about, so last week we talked about our goals and setting goals and that is really the key to staying on plan because they say one year if you can maintain your plan for one year you have such a higher success rate of making this long term so your goal should be sustainable and i talk about goals so much but it is so important that you write down your goals but they need to be sustainable so you know don't make a goal that is so that's going to burn you out after um, you know a month two weeks if you know that in the past that you have done keto and you were at like 20 carbs or less and you just couldn't sustain that maybe you should try 35 grams of carbs or less that is actually i try you know i sometimes i hit 20 but a lot of times I do 35 net carbs and that is how I was able to sustain the keto diet in the past. Also, you wanna make sure you have exercise goals if you intend to exercise, which I hope you do because it is important, not really for you know body weight and being healthy as far as your weight goes, but really just being like healthy cardiovascularly. It's just really good for you lifting weights, you know, doing something, even just walking, that's you know why I wanted to say make it sustainable because if right now you're not doing any exercise and you decide well you know what I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try and run three miles five days a week well you do you really think that that's gonna be sustainable you know unless you have done that in the past and you know that you can run three miles five days a week Maybe you should start slow and just start with like 4,000 steps a day and walking and just go from there. And then maybe you can start like a couch to 5K program. It's just all about setting sustainable goals. There are a few questions that I got in the group. So the first one we have is, should you track macros and um, to stay under 20 net carbs? You, yeah, you need to check and you need to track your carbs and your calories if you want to have you know regular weight loss because you really are would be surprised whenever you and I would su suggest measuring and weighing food especially food that's as calorie dense as keto food so like you've got cream cheese and the way you measure out like two ounces of cream cheese if you weigh it and two and a half ounces of cream cheese could make your calories a lot more than you think or like a tablespoon of peanut butter if you kind of you don't weigh it you just measure out a tablespoon of peanut butter that could be actually a look you know the labels give you nutrition info in grams so it's best to measure in grams because you know you measure out that tablespoon and they say that one tablespoon equals so many grams, but when in actuality, you're measuring out that tablespoon and it's a lot more grams than you think it is. And that's just gonna, you know, do that 10 times a day and you've got less of a calorie deficit. And you have to have a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter if you eat zero carb. If you don't have a calorie deficit, you will not lose weight. So yes, I do suggest tracking your macros, but really just calories and carbs and, you know, protein, I like to stay around 100 grams of protein. And then after that, um, just stay within your calories. Uh, alternative to coconut oil, and I, I do agree with you, Casey, I do not like coconut oil. I really prefer avocado oil, and I use that for almost all of my cooking. It is a high smoking smoke point oil, so it is it doesn't oxidize as fast as like olive oil, which is not good for your health oxidized oil and but yeah i would recommend i've never tried rice band brand oil I'm, i haven't even researched that i don't know what the smoke point is on that but i know avocado oil has a really high and good smoke point so i would stick with that yes yeah i like the avocado oil it has a good flavor i'm just so used to it now i love the smell of it when it starts you know cook with it what um, should you eat when you're still hungry but have reached your carb and fat limits for the day so first you you need to focus on reaching your carb 
and your protein. Those are the goals. You have a carb goal, a protein goal, and a calorie goal. And then if you're still hungry, you can choose to go over your calories. And if you've already reached your carb limit for the day, then you can have some more fat or protein. If you're, you know, you're gonna be hungry in the beginning, so you're just gonna have to, sometimes you just gotta suck it up, or you can just, in the beginning, eat until you're full, and then as you start to get fat adapted, you will be less hungry, and then you can start cutting out the calories. Well guys, that was a short and sweet video and you are going to rock it keto. I just know it. You make sure you write down your goals every single day and make sure they are sustainable and you will have no problem, I promise.